So I don't even know why I listen to Twitter critics or anybody really anymore. Because yesterday I criticized Cory Booker for grandstanding and basically having a sexual relationship with the camera in the Jeff Sessions hearings. He was really excited to go stand up there and make history as the only sitting senator to criticize another sitting senator. Um, and his staff made sure to tell the press that it was unprecedented and that history was in the making with Cory Booker. He's gonna stick it to the Republicans. He's gonna stand up for working people, except when he doesn't, and he doesn't back it up with actual legislation and actual votes. So here's what happened late last night at 11. Bernie Sanders and um, Senator Klobuchar, someone who actually endorsed Hillary Clinton, she's on the more conservative side, but whatever, they co-sponsored this amendment uh, to establish a deficit neutral, neutral reserve fund relating to lower prescription uh, drug prices for Americans by importing drugs directly from Canada. Bernie Sanders has talked extensively about how Canadian drug prices right over the border are like 20 times lower and in the United States we just hike them up. And he's taken people over the border to Canada, cancer patients over the border to Canada to get the prescription drugs that they need to save their lives. Cory Booker doesn't really seem interested in saving their uh, other people's lives, I guess. Uh, he's He would rather stand up to the camera and say, oh, uh, wag his finger at Jeff Sessions, a nomination that he knows is going to get through. But it's an easy political trick for him to launch his candidacy in 2020. You're done. No progressive credibility. If you had an an iota of progressive credibility for standing up to Jeff Sessions, and that's gone because you turn around and you don't back it up with a vote. So listen to the people that voted for this and then listen to who uh, didn't. Susan Collins, who's a Republican from Maine, voted for this. I'm going to save the best Republican for last. Uh, Chuck Grassley, Republican. Mike Lee, who by the way, was against Flint relief. John McCain of Arizona, uh, Rand Paul. Rand Paul, Ted Cruz voted for this. That's when things are topsy-turvy in the Democratic Party. Kirsten Gillibrand, very conservative Democrat, voted with Bernie Sanders on this. Kamala Harris, who's floated as being a Democratic nominee in 2020, from California. Maggie Hassan uh, voted on this, of New Hampshire. Tim Kaine. Claire McCaskill, extremely conservative Democrat. Bernie Sanders obviously co-sponsored it. Chuck Schumer! Chuck Schumer voted for this. And, of course, Elizabeth Warren. Cory Booker voted with Mitch McConnell and the nays. 46 to 52. 46 to 52. Another, and by, by the way, Menendez, the other New Jersey senator, also voted for this because New Jersey has a massive big pharma lobby. Johnson & Johnson headquarters is in New Brunswick. Um, I pass by it all the time. Big, big pharma lobby in, in New Jersey. And Cory Booker and, and uh, Menendez decided to go with the money. The other Democrat, just to give you a sense of how conservative Cory Booker is, Heidi Heinkamp the pro-Dakota Access Pipeline Democrat from North Dakota voted for that, voted against this. So that's the company that Cory Booker is in. But he loves to stand up there when the cameras are on and say, I'm against you, Jeff Sessions. You're a racist, but I'm not going to support any policies that actually help black people. I'm only there for the cameras. I'm only there for the glitz and the glam to go on Morning Joe every, every day. Although Joe Scar Scarborough, to his credit, said that he was just an opportunist today. So, good on jo Joe Scarborough. God, you're done, Cory Booker. His, he is more conservative than President Obama. In 2012, he called President Obama's calling for stricter regulations on private equity nauseating. He is the Wall Street senator, and now he's also the big pharma senator. So let me read you some of his, uh, the amount of money that's been donated to him. Uh, he, in this last cycle, uh, got $385,000, $678 from big pharma and health products. That's his eighth largest donor. And his 16th largest donor is health professionals, uh, $242,000. 
Cory Booker has raised 19 million dollars. 19 million dollars as a senator for three years. So, and then move on, I see, moveon.org, which used to be a progressive organization, fawning over his, his Jeff Sessions testimony. This glitz and glam isn't working anymore. Hashtag stronger together. Back it up with legislation, Cory Booker. I mean, I was just livid when I saw this vote. It could have passed. It had bipartisan support. And then these spineless Democrats like Cory Booker and Menendez and Heinkamp voted it down. You had Ted Cruz voting yes, and we could have had lower prescription drug prices for our cancer patients. So, great job. Done. Done with you. Pathetic. Bye.